Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Mrs. K's art room. I have missed you all. I pray that you are happy, healthy, and whole. Today's lesson is going to be on identity. And what does Mrs. K always say? There are no mistakes in art. God certainly did not make a mistake when he created you his favorite masterpiece. Today's art lesson is going to be on abstract art. Do you remember what abstract art means? That's right, it's art that has its own identity. There are no two art pieces that are the same, and it's basically created with colors and shapes. So for today's project, you will need Sharpie, white sheet of paper, washable markers, a bowl of water, and any kind of paintbrush will do. But the last ingredient, which is the most important, is a good attitude. Let's get to creating. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw squiggles, lines, basically any kind of shapes that you want to do. You can add polka dots, more lines, more squiggles, because we really don't know what this is going to look like. We just want to have fun. After you're done with your squiggles, you're going to take your washable markers. Remember, they have to be washable. And you're going to start filling in, but the key is not to fill it in all the way because we're going to make it look like watercolor. It doesn't matter what colors you use. Remember, all the colors blend if they're next to each other on the color wheel. So you can have as much fun as you want. You can use your complementary colors, your primary colors. Remember, primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And they basically create every other color. Okay, so I love orange. So I'm going to use orange. As you can see, I'm not being super careful. Now I'm going to use some yellow because they are next to each other on the color wheel. It's kind of however you want to do it. You can do it in the middle of your shape or the edges. Have fun. done coloring with your markers we're going to come over here we're going to have a bowl of water and any size paintbrush will do I'm using a bigger one so that I can finish a little bit quicker now you're going to start coloring right over your markers the water 
is helping all of the marker ink run on the paper. That's why washable is super important because if you're using permanent colors like the Sharpie, permanent markers like the Sharpie that I use, guess what? Colors aren't going to blend together. It basically won't work. And you can see how the colors are mixing, they're blending, and it looks like a watercolor picture now. So you don't even need a watercolor palette like the ones we use in the classroom. You can basically do the same thing just using the supplies that you have. Ooh, I like how the blue mixes with the purple. The less water you use, the less it will blend. So that's up to you how much you want to do. I like how this is coming out. It's very colorful. You're all done let it dry flat you don't want all of your colors to run together and look at that super easy super colorful super fun and it's abstract which means it doesn't matter how many of these you make they're all going to be different I hope you had fun creating with me this abstract piece today look for more videos coming up